everyone my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the tutorial series on how to implement a SQLite 3 database with the Python programming language in the previous part we have we have written this program right but this program let's, looks little different because what I have done is I have just collated all the queries and put it here after you know we define a cursor right and did some formatting put it some comments also right and if I run this program, right, later on I realize I just made a mistake in that and that we're going to fix it, right? So first we are deleting the records, selecting, so we are not getting any records, then we inserting on one record, that values are one, insert, insert data. Then here we see that updated records are blank, right? And then we have selected. So this print statement was showing selected, so I just, you know, rectified it, corrected it. It's, I just created a new variable which has more meaningful name like updated records. And this print statement also I changes to updated right now here we are using a fetch all rather than using a fetch all we have to use a row count variable because that is gives us how many uh, rows are getting impacted it's same like what we have in an insert right so if I run this now we can see deleted records no records inserted one record and updated one record and this is what the value we have updated right so have some more consistency we can have this something like updated data we can save it and we can just run it right so now this looks more cleaner and more consistent right now for today's video what we're gonna see is uh, we have just inserted one record what if if I, I want to insert a multiple records right with a different different values right so how, how we can do it definitely we can just parameterize our query and we can just pass those parameter but how can I pass those parameter and that is where I just selected you know the very first topic for today's video execute many execute many actually allow us to execute the same query with a different number of parameters then we're gonna understand fetch one fetch all fetch many so fetch all we know that I mean if we are having a multiple records we can rec we can extract all the records right but in real time there can be a situation you don't want to fetch all the records right you want to select only one record and one by one you want to iterate through you can use fetch one in that case if you want to select a let's assume that you want to s control the number of you know the records are getting uh, getting extracted you can use a fetch many and fetch many except a size that all we're gonna see in today's video right so as I mentioned what we're gonna do is we're gonna parameterize our query but we are not gonna use a string format or something like okay where we can just use a format and we can just you know pass the values right that is what we do usually but it, it, instead of uh, as this SQLite module provide us two ways through which we can parameterize our query right so the one way is question mark so how are we gonna do it with question mark so let's see so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this query okay and I'm just gonna give insert query with question with question mark something like that Q mark okay so this is what my query is so rather than giving a value here I'm just gonna replace all these fields value with question mark and that's the reason they have chosen this by saying question mark right so this is my query right now I have to pass the parameters how can I pass the parameter so I can give some meaningful name something like parame parameters with Q mark okay so here what I have to do is I have to pass a tuples for one particular records right and if we want to have a many records inserted we have to create a list of the tuples right so what we're gonna do this is my list and now we are gonna create a multiple tuples let's say I wanted to create three tuples or four four tuples right and how many values we need to pass we need to pass three values we have to pass ID then we have to pass you know the query type then we have to pass the data right so what I have done to save a time I have already created you know few tuples right so let me just take this and put it here first tuple okay so what I'm gonna do is to have some more readability I'm just gonna copy second third and fourth and I'm just gonna copy it okay and if you need all these codes I can just you know uh, upload this to the github repository if you really need it but you can just follow along with this so now we have a list of a tuples right and just for the reference um, 
right? So I think, yeah, it looks good, right? The next thing which we have to do is we already have our cursor, right? Which is SL cursor, right? And we have to call our method, which is execute many. And then this method requires two parameters. The first one is the parameter, the, the, the query, followed by the parameters or the list of the tuples where we have the value in a tuples format for all the fields, right? So I'm just going to use the execute many, right? But let's, let's see what happens if I just run this query now. Let me just save it. And I'm pretty much sure it's going to complain for the unique constraint because we already have a one record which is not yet deleted, right? So this is trying to insert a first record with the same ID. So it's going to. So what I need to do is I have to just copy this part and I have to just. Oh, I just make a mis small mistake here. I have to extract this and I have to paste it here. Right, this time it won't gonna complain, and now I'm just gonna select all of them, and let me just exit the code here. So I'm just using a sys exit, so I have to import sys module, and I'm just gonna save it and run it. Let's see what happens. Right, so it's deleted the first record. Now it's not complaining for unique constraint. Definitely for this unique constraint, we will just discuss uh, in the later part. Okay, so now you can see we have four records, right? So what we are doing here is we are just using a fetch all, but this time we have used the question mark. What if, if I don't want to use this question mark, then we have another way to do that. And for that also, and that is known as name type parameterization. So what does it mean? That type of, I always use that one because that gives more readability, right? And this is the query which is gonna look like. Right, so it's pretty much same what we have, but instead of these questions mark, we have this colon ID, we have this colon query type, and we have this query purpose. So these are the three parameters. So I just name those uh, values which are going to be which are going to be variable for this query as a name, right? So that's the reason we are saying this insert query with name. And for that, I have already created this JSON object. But here we have to provide a dictionary with the same name which we have in our query basically, right? So we have ID, query type, and a query purpose. So what I'm doing here is I'm just creating these dictionaries. So ID, then we have a query type, but you have to make sure these names are matching. And then we have a query purpose, which is we have query purpose here, right? So what if I run this one, right? So you can just see the IDs. I'm just taking this five, six, seven, eight, so that we won't get into that issue, right? So this is how we can do that. So let me just run it. Okay, now, what we are getting is, oh, I just made a mistake. I didn't execute execute many, right? So I have to copy this, and I have to execute that, right? So this time, what I'm going to do is, rather than passing this, I'm just going to pass this, and for this, right? And this should give us all the eight records. Now you can see all the eight records, right? OK, so. What next? OK, now we know we are just fetching all the records. What if if I just fetch, fetch many, and I just give size equals to 4, right? Let's see how many records we get. We are just getting only 4 records. So what if if I want to select 6 records? OK, let me just give 6. And that is how we can use a many, 6. That is how we can use a fetch many. So we can control how many records we want to extract, rather than just extracting all of them. What if, if I just give fetch 1, right? So this is going to extract only the first record. Uh -oh. We are getting only one record, right? So that is how we can use uh, execute many, fetch one, fetch many, fetch all, and fetch one. This is this is what I wanted to cover for this video. Thanks for watching this. And if you have any query or suggestion or a feedback, please feel free to put that into the comment section, and I would do my best to incorporate that in my future video. And as always, thanks for watching all these videos, and stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff.